Understanding technology, understanding the future. Welcome to Technology Future. Today's shared topic is Chinese chip companies are catching up with U.S. companies. The development of China's chip industry has long relied on the support of American technology. However, with the continuous development of China's chip industry, China has successfully achieved independent innovation in chip production and gradually got rid of its dependence on U.S. technology. China has made significant progress in the fields of chip design, chip manufacturing, and chip packaging, and has begun to use Chinese chip technology, which can even be comparable to international companies. In response to the U.S. chip ban on China, China's chip industry has developed independently. And chip products using Chinese technology have been able to replace some foreign chip products, achieving a true sense of independent innovation. This progress has also allowed foreign media to see the strong momentum of China's chip industry, and even said that China no longer needs to buy U.S. chips and can independently produce high-quality chip products. The real sense of getting rid of the dependence on U.S. technology. Chip design is an essential part of the chip industry. Previously, Chinese chip designers had to use the U.S. EDA giant's design software in order to design high-end chip drawings. But now, the situation has changed dramatically. Huawei, Huadajutian, and other companies have developed Chinese EDA tool software, and the design capability of these EDA tools has reached the international standard level of 14 nanometers. On this basis. Chinese chip designers can use Chinese technology for chip design, and the process of sending drawings to Chinese foundries for manufacturing will no longer require payment of contribution fees to U.S. technology vendors. In addition, some Chinese companies have made some innovations in chip design. For example, Huawei used its own patent for stacked chips to combine two 14 nanometers chips into one with comparable performance. To seven nanometers chips, this innovation has substantially increased the competitiveness and market share of Chinese chips, while also accelerating the pace of independent innovation in China's chip industry. Chip design is an integral part of the chip industry. Previously, Chinese chip designers had to use design software from the U.S. EDA giants to design high-end chip drawings, but now the situation has changed a lot. Huawei, Huadajutian, and other companies have developed Chinese EDA tool software, and the design capability of these EDA tools has reached the international standard level of 14 nanometers. On this basis, Chinese chip designers can use Chinese technology for chip design, and the process of sending drawings to Chinese foundries for manufacturing will no longer require payment of contribution fees to U.S. technology vendors. In addition, Some Chinese companies have made some innovations in chip design. For example, Huawei used its own patent for stacked chips to combine two 14 nanometers chips into one with comparable performance to seven nanometers chips. This innovation has substantially improved the competitiveness and market share of Chinese chips, while also accelerating the pace of independent innovation in China's chip industry. In terms of chip manufacturing, in the past, most of China's chips had to be manufactured by sending them to TSMC and other companies for foundry manufacturing. But now, China also already has at least 14 nanometers Chinese manufacturing equipment. At present, China's highly reputable chip manufacturing companies, SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor, have compressed their manufacturing processes to 14 nanometers. This has enabled China to achieve an important breakthrough in the chip manufacturing sector. With the rapid development of China's chip manufacturing industry, a number of chip production technologies have emerged in recent years that are ahead of foreign ones. For example, Changdian Technology Corporation has developed chip packaging technology with its own intellectual property rights that allows multiple. Chips with different modules to be combined into one small chip with the same performance as a four nanometers chip, and this technology is leading the way in global applications. Chinese chip manufacturing companies have used these technologies, 
making the quality and performance level of Chinese chips have been significantly improved. With the independent innovation of China's chip industry, the production capacity of Chinese chips has also been significantly increased. It is not only able to meet the needs of the Chinese market, but has even expanded to overseas markets. Some industrial application scenarios, such as industrial automation, telematics, 5G, and IoT, require a large number of chips as infrastructure. Chinese chip companies have been increasing their production capacity and have been able to meet the huge demand in China and overseas markets. For China's chip industry, although there are still certain problems under the influence of some constraints, in general, all the signs emerging from China's chip industry indicate that China has gained stronger competitiveness and technological strength and achieved a strategic advantage in manufacturing development. In the future, the future prospects of China's chip industry are still full of hope. In addition, other experts speculate that China may be a breaking through in terms of chips, according to several previous signals. The first is China's ban on the sale of Micron announced some time ago. Micron is the world's third largest storage manufacturers, since 2001 into China has been very profitable. Many of our memory sticks, solid state drives are produced by Micron. But we should also see that this means our reliance on imported chips has reached a dangerous level. Our country is also gradually tightening restrictions and controls on imported chips. The decision to ban sales was not sudden, but based on the completion of the Chineseization of solid state drives by Changjiang Storage, the Chineseization of memory sticks by Hufei Changxin, and the development of Chinese chips. We have alternatives that do not lose out to Micron in terms of performance and quality. Therefore, we can use local products with confidence, which is a very positive and confident signal. Second, recently, Western chip companies have started to change their strategy and no longer follow the US in sanctioning Chinese companies, but want to sell chips to China. The Netherlands ASMAC, for example, is the world's leading producer of lithography machines, and companies such as TSMC need to rely on its equipment to produce high-end chips. However, a few years ago when China began to develop its own lithography technology, the president of ASMAC was very dismissive and said that even if they provided drawings to China, they could not build lithography machines. But now the president of ASME has changed his tune saying that China's independent development of semiconductors and lithography is disrupting the global industry chain. NVIDIA is one of the chip companies that has been in the limelight recently due to the artificial intelligence fire, and it is also starting to pay attention to the Chinese market. CEO Jen Sun Huang believes that Chinese GPU makers are on the rise, and that Chinese chip companies are already very fast at catching up. The strong thirst of Western chip companies for the Chinese market can be seen in their concerns. China has a huge consumer market and industrial base, and the demand for technology and innovation is becoming more and more urgent. Therefore, Western chip companies realize that if they miss the Chinese market, they will lose a major opportunity. At the same time, they also understand that China's technological progress and independent research and development has sufficient strength and capacity, and cannot be ignored. In short, behind the change of strategy and emphasis on the Chinese market, Western chip companies reflect their recognition of China's consumer market and independent research and development capabilities. But at the same time, they also express their concern and vigilance about the Chinese chip industry. In the future, as China's chip industry continues to grow and develop, the competition between Chinese and foreign chip companies will become increasingly fierce.